Good morning, everybody. This is a preview of the week ahead for level five at El Centro. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all managing. This is now week four of our online classes during all this crazy, crazy Corona mess. So let's get right to it. So today is Monday, April 6. And if you go on to Google Classroom right now, this is the assignment you'll see. You'll see a review of the vocabulary from last week. And a sample of the video I posted about the sharing economy and how social distancing affects the sharing economy. Then you'll have a vocab quiz. That's it for this week. I'm sorry, that's it for today, Monday. Now, Tuesday, new assignment. WWSD, what would Sesame Street do? Little laugh, if you're not familiar, that's a children's program, helps children in America and around the world deal with serious issues. How would Sesame Street help out with the coronavirus? Now, Wednesday and Thursday, you won't hear from me. It'll be Adam's class. Adam's got some great stuff ahead for you. Now, we are back together again Friday. So Friday on the 10th, you're going to listen to an interview titled The Inside Game. It's from a recent episode of the podcast, This American Life. And then I'm going to ask you to post your response to Google Classroom. So that sounds simple enough, but not everybody is quite getting into the feel of getting on Google Classroom, following assignments. So I'm going to give everyone a quick walkthrough. So let's do this. All right. So here's what I posted. All right. Here are all of my assignments coming up for the week. So this is what you'll see by 8 a.m. on Monday morning. Now, I'm obviously recording this Sunday night. So that's why it's not posted. It says right here, you'll see where I wrote scheduled for tomorrow. So I'm obviously speaking to you recording this on Sunday night, but 8 a.m. Monday, tomorrow, this will be your assignment. Watch this video. That's the video. And then take this vocabulary quiz. Simple enough. Well, let's do it because some people might get confused. That's my job. So. The video, that's me from last week explaining social distancing and the vocabulary relating to gig work and the sharing economy. You'll see me get into the exact same vocabulary. And then when you review, you jar your memory from last week, you'll be able to take the quiz. The quiz is self-grading using Google tools. That's what the quiz looks like. You see the questions, you can choose an answer. It's all multiple choice. No pressure, but just make sure you are familiar with the vocabulary before you do it. So that's Monday's assignment. So I'm clicking out of all this. Now, the next thing I posted, WWSD, what would Sesame Street do? So read the instructions. That's always the most important. So read the instructions. Then I have four steps for Tuesday. One. Click on the link. I'm going to change this into a blue marker. Click the link below titled Sesame Street in Communities. And then there's only one link below. That's it. Then you watch one of the episodes. It's a children's TV program that's been around for almost half a century. Write a comment in 60 to 80 words. Include your opinions and observations. So that is for Tuesday. Tuesday. So also, your comments will go on Google Classroom. What does that look like? I have the link right here. So if you click on the link, it goes into topics. It's a, called Sesame Street in Communities. It's a resource for parents and children dealing with tough issues. Everyone is dealing with tough issues right now. If you're like me, you're at home with your kids, homeschooling them, they might have questions. Why can't I go outside? Why can't I go to the park? If uh, one of the parents is infected with COVID-19, why does mom or dad have to stay in that room? Why can't they come out? Lots of tough questions. So here are tough questions that the TV program Sesame Street has dealt with in a way that makes it palatable for young people. So here we are. You could choose community violence, family homelessness, foster care, divorce. So let's pick one of these. Parental addiction. Here we are. All right, so you click on one. It's always a serious topic introduced in an appropriate way for children. So it sounds like an oxymoron. 
but you click on it, you watch it, you see the puppets talking. There we go. Oh, Elmo, fantastic. Elmo talking about opioids. Excellent. If Elmo can talk about opioids, then you can find a way to talk about COVID-19 with your kids. It's perfect. So then you watch one of these episodes, choose one, then you post to Google Classroom. And I'm going to say that again and again and again. Do not uh, post into the stars. Do not write. Do not write a message in a bottle and throw it into the ocean. Post on Google Classroom. That way I will see it and I will give you credit for the assignment. If you are having trouble posting on Google Classroom, contact me directly. If you cannot post on Google Classroom, I will send you a message asking you why, assuming there is some type of uh, issue that needs to be dealt with. So if you don't want me uh, bothering you, harassing you, just do your work and I'll leave you alone. Sounds good, right? So remember Wednesday, Thursday, you got Adam's class. He's a ton of fun. We're back together again on Friday. So what do we have for Friday? Here it is. Parenting with COVID-19. Read the instructions. Click on this link below, the inside game. All right. This is an interview from This American Life last week. I got to warn you, it's some emotional stuff. And after you listen to it, you go back to a worksheet. This is not just posting your thoughts. You got to follow this worksheet right there. You see where it is. You click on the worksheet and let me erase the arrow I drew. You click on the worksheet and then you fill it out, okay? So it's in Google Docs, you click on the worksheet and you type your answers right in there, okay? So after you fill out that worksheet, you upload it to once again, Google Classroom, and that will make you count, and then you will be counted for turning in your Friday assignment. So we're good. So it's those three, our assignment for Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and that's all I'm giving you. Last thing. When you go to the This American Life website and you listen, you might want to read it because some of the language is tough. So if you want to read it, go up to this arrow right there. It says full episode. Then you go to the transcript. Look down here at the transcript. All the way down here and you can read it. Okay. That is it. I wish you all best of luck. Any questions, contact me directly. Okay, thank you.